Okay guys, this is part 2 of the video. The last thing I was showing you is that this camera has a lot of frames so you can easily take photos. Before I get back to that, I'd just like to show you as soon as you put on the camera you can have kid mode running. So in case you want to capture that special moment, that little baby of yours, you could have that running with no problem. You can press any button to take it off and it comes off. The more the scenery that it has, it has a lot of great beautiful backgrounds that you could set and you could be in these. You could also download different fronts from the Samsung disk that comes with it. There's a, uh, in the box there is the USB cable, there is this little string that they give on you that attach onto the camera. There's the manual, there's the CD. The manual, the manual is in English. Um, and there's a cleaning cloth. What I would recommend is that you buy a screen protector and apply it on the screen because that's what I did here. So that's why you see a glare and you can notice the background when the camera light is flashing back on it. You can apply it on the front and the back because those are two really precious areas that you don't want anything to damage onto them. So there's a lot of scenes that you could choose from and you could take out this photo and then you can edit it. <laughs> yeah guys you can actually edit the photo. So let's see I exit this. I choose Smart Auto. Just take that picture there. It will come out. That's my wall. You could play it back, and there's an edit button. Um, which one is that? Just bear with me a second guys, I'm trying to get the edit feature to come up, can't really remember how I did it last time, ah there we go, you pull down on, this is a zoom button here on top, it's a push and talk button so you don't need to twist and turn, so here we can edit these photos with complete ease you could press the menu for the filters you could add color you could add a face there are a lot of different things to this you could make the photo negative and stuff like that it's pretty cool that's another pro of this camera uh, uh, one thing you should know guys is that whenever taking photos from long or far range there are micros that you need to apply so whenever you're gonna take a photo or especially a movie there's normal shooting and then there's this macro uh, so if you choose normal it would only focus on 31 inches so it wouldn't focus on anything more than that so you would need to actually set this to macro where you could have uh, autofocus up to uh, I gotten a little bit over 80 feet so you could you could try it out um it's a great camera overall the battery life you could take pictures all day with this i took uh with my 16 gig here i just 
get everything out and store it on my PC but with this camera once you have the available space you could take pictures like you could take like a thousand pictures or let's say 800 pictures you could take 800 pictures and your camera will still have battery life it, uh, it, the 800 doesn't have to be like in one day that's in uh, general speaking because I had to up to 200 pictures last time and I still had battery life but what I do I still charge it so to be on the safe side I don't actually let it run down because if you let a battery run down then that's when it starts to give trouble so you want to avoid that guys okay so that is it for the Samsung PL120 uh, this is a great camera and I love it so that's my feedback on this guys you can find one on Amazon and you can see the reviews there are pretty good the flash is very bright by the way so you could cover a surface diameter of about six to eight feet I've covered that and never tried anything further so that's my review on this guys thanks for watching and have a great day youtubers